Aloha kakahiaka everyone. Happy Thursday. Hope you all are doing well and healthy out there and getting into what's going to be coming down very, very soon is the summer months. It's already warm where I'm at. So I hope you all are comfortable and well and enjoying. The question today, the question today is how do I get over my twin flame? We're going to talk about that. My name is Aniel and I'm a coach with the Be With Your Twin Flame program. And this question comes up quite, quite often. This is a question I myself struggled with. How do I get over my twin flame? Because usually, folks, what we're talking about is that place where you're at after the energies have repelled on your journey and you are just in a heap on the floor for many, many people. This is very common. This is very par. This is hallmark on the journey, folks. How do I get over that? How do I stop feeling like this? Well, firstly, let me just tell you, there is never a getting over, let me say, quote, unquote, a getting over of your twin flame. And that makes people very, very agitated, anxious, very deeply saddened by that, you know, little revelation. But folks, there's a reason why there is no getting over the twin flame. And that's because the twin flame is you. You are the twin flame. You have the same shared soul. And if that's true, how do you get over yourself? There isn't, there isn't any getting over yourself. But before that makes your outlook or your perception or whatever you want to call it bleak looking because pe that's what people, that's what they do. They're like, oh my God, what, what do you mean? That's what I did. What do you mean? That means I'm going to be stuck in this hell forever. That's what we think because that's what we are raised and conditioned and go through life thinking it's going to be forever. I'm going to be stuck in this hell forever, which is not true. However, if you are looking at how to get over the twin flame, you can go weeks, months, and even years and find you cannot. Personally, I myself, you know, went years ago when I had heard about twin flames, I thought I had met someone that was my twin flame. And I got all, I, I did like everyone else does. I got all my information. Elle wasn't even, you know, around at that time. Um, I got all my information off the internet. I got all spoofed up and I got into believing all these things about the twin flame journey that simply were not true. However, when things fell apart with this person that I thought was my twin flame, you know, I went through a, a grief period like everyone else does, but I moved on. Actually, looking back, kind of like that. Once I knew if this is not going to work, this is not going to fly, you know, it was just a matter of a very short and brief period of time that I was able to get over it. I was able to get over it and move on. And to be honest, folks, I was looking at this as a whole sham. The twin flame journey is a sham. Everything I had spent a few months on researching and learning and, you know, trying to, trying to think positive thoughts and all that other kind of spiritual stuff, woo woo stuff, I thought it was all a sham. So when it actually did happen to me, not very long after that, and I found that after five months of literally being on the floor, there was no getting over this person, getting over. It's because I realized that that's when I was on this journey. I didn't want it. I didn't want it. In fact, I kept telling myself this is all a sham, even though I had already enrolled in Elle's program, in her first program, and I did not want it. But I kept thinking that, you know, I got, I got to get over it. And that's just not true. There's no getting over, folks. If that's you, you're going to find, if that's you, you're going to find that the longer you move along in your journey, the further you move along in your journey, believing that there's someone you need to get over, the worse it feels. It doesn't get better. It doesn't feel better. The more you stay in your fear-based energy, believing this is something that you need to get over, the worse it gets. In other words, 
the harder it is and the more difficult it is to even see the light at the end of the tunnel. And that's when I knew, and folks, it was after I already enrolled in, pro, in, in Elle's programs. I knew that I had to learn how to balance my fear-based energy. Everything that Elle was teaching, everything she was showing us, I knew I had to do it because there is no getting over the twin flame. A lot of people feel like they do, folks. And you know what? They try to e equate it to something they know in, in 3D of, you know, how to view it and how to wish their twin flame well. And, you know, if I just be positive about this, you know, I'm just going to wish. And I'm no. It's all about energy balancing. It's all energetic. Most of this journey, <laughs> if not all of this journey, is really about learning to identify that fear-based energy, learning how to transmute it, and learning how to return to your love energy. Now that may sound like, gosh, a bunch of like, I don't even know what she's talking about. But folks, learning how to identify the fear-based energy really is the key to this entire journey, flipping the switch, shifting out of that, and getting back to a place where you, where you folks can feel better than you ever have before, even before this journey. A lot of people are like, oh my God, I was fine before this happened. Actually, no, if, if your soul led you here, not to say you weren't fine, not to say you weren't fine, but if your soul led you here, it's because you're ready. It is definitely one of the most difficult journeys you will ever, if not the most difficult journey you will ever be on, because this journey, folks, is not about the twin flame. It is not about getting over anybody. It's about learning to love yourself, learning to love yourself on the deepest levels possible, the love that comes from your soul. And the more it hurts, folks, the more it's showing you that that's what you need to learn, how to get to know who you are and how to love yourself. So if that's you, totally, 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 I can absolutely relate. That's exactly where I was. And there is no getting over the twin flame. Alrighty, I hope you all are well out there. Have a wonderful Thursday, wonderful weekend coming up. We'll talk again soon. Ahui ho and malama pono. Bye everybody.